Today, I have the privilege to be joined by director George Anson. His new film, Spring Eddy, will be premiering at the Austin Film Festival at the Long Center for Performing Arts Rollins Theater this Sunday, October 21st, and then another showing Monday the 22nd. Please now take a look at the film, a trailer. for an advance? Yeah, that's all it would be, just an advance, right? No harm in that. You know, what if I call Frank and ask him what's going on? Maybe you're trying to play him and me. He got himself sideways with Reggie on some games, <gasps> then had the bright idea to do his pickups early oh, you and pay off Reggie. But then get this, he skips instead. Frank wants you to take care of it. Get the money if you can, but mainly just do what you do. It's really a shame that you gotta be rolling on. Yeah. Put in the bank. Oh, well, are you sure? Because these envelopes are real handy. The money just slips right in here. No, 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 no. It's a lot of money to be laying around here all night long. You make the call yet? Where? When I said go, you got it. Play on the bill. Fill up. Turn it off. Please tell me you're not going to do this. He sounds different this time. I'm scared. Good. Your girlfriend? Why wow. are you still talking? Ex-girlfriend. From the beginning. No, I don't want you giving old Sam here any trouble you hear. Sam! He's gone. This is the part where most people try to deny her, negotiate her, beg. I mean, you can go back to your home planet. Oh, I can. But you're not getting within 10 feet of me or my truck. Go over there and kick his ass. Okay, that's a really good idea. Cause we all know that a woman cannot resist a man that stalks and then, of course, gets the hell out of her date. Yeah. Save Philip the Breeze. Yeah, shut up. You said you didn't have money. Here. You say anything and I mean anything to another living soul. He's in some sort of trouble, isn't he? You didn't think about coming back. What's that for? What do you think it's for? Maybe. I don't think that's going to work. Mr. Anson, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's, it's a pleasure to have you. Mm -hmm. So Spring Eddie is uh, when you when you look it up, it's under the uh, the heading of romantic comedy. Right. But right. It's, it's it's a little different. But it, it, it's a it's it, a little different. Right. So can can you describe to everyone what the what the film's about and what the essence of it is? Well, I mean, yes, it, it has to fall under romantic comedy, but I think that it would probably um, test the bounds of that in that um, in most most romantic comedy genres you have a, a main character when we follow that main character from the start of the film to the end of the film and and and, and the world revolves around that character <clears throat> in this one we start off with a character and we think we're going to follow that character until that character brings us into another character and then that character takes over for a while and what it is is a process of getting from one type of personality into a totally different world and a different type of personality. So we're, we're kind of leading the audience in one direction, but then we're kind of taking them on a journey into a lot of different directions with a lot of different, uh, different characters. And this, this is your first feature film? It is, yes, so writer and director. Did you did you take what are your are your influences going into creating something like this? Do you follow uh, someone else that you idolize? Do you kind of take their style or their storytelling voice to try to blend your own? Right. I you know I mean I'm, I've always been a big fan of of uh, the Coen Brothers. 
although I don't ever es express that I would even come into their ballpark, but I really respect what they did and what they've done. There's, there's rarely a movie that they've done that I haven't loved. Um, and what I think what, what really draws me to, to them is that the, um, it, we feel like we really have seen these people somewhere before. We get a taste of who they are and we don't think they're phony or made up. We think that we could probably run into these weird people on our daily basis. So, <laughs> so that, that's the main thing you focus on is kind of character driven work. Yeah. Uh, a few years back I wrote the story. Um, and, and basically what I say the story, I basically the outline. Um, it wasn't until I guess a couple of years ago that I really sat down and rewrote it um, to try to polish it up to get to shoot. And then even after that, um, it was still long, so I had to go back in and rewrite it because every, basically when you're looking at a, a, a screenplay, you can kind of judge the length of a film by the page. So if you've got one page, that's one minute. So if you've got 90 pages, then obviously you've got 90 minute film. I was at 120, which is going to be too long. So the producer of the movie, Barb Morgan, said, you're going to have to cut. So that's when I had to really go in and and polish it up and get it down to about, uh, I guess, 96 pages. Okay, so the final film is roughly 96, 96 pages, yeah. 96 minutes, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. yeah, so. Okay, and so then what, in between, I know you, when you originally wrote the story and the script, you had been working in directing newscasts? Well, when I first got out of college, uh, I went to the University of North Texas and I got out, I got out with a, I got out with a uh, RTF degree. And my very first job was going to work at a very, very small station in Sherman, Texas, KXII. And they covered North Texas and Southern Oklahoma. And they just hired me to come in and be kind of a PA, um, a gopher, do anything. Well, <clears throat> when I got to tweaks after I got there, the, the director, of the main director, quit. Got in a real big fight with the station manager. And so the station manager looked around the room and he goes, okay, you're now the director. And I had never done anything like that in my life. And I had to go on and not only did I have to direct the show, but I had to punch the show too on the controller. So that's unique. That's, that's in a small market. You have to do both. But, you know, I made a lot of mistakes, but I finally got it done. And I worked there for about a year, year and a half, and then uh, moved on. You worked at the Austin Film Festival as a program director. Yeah, the correct? very first three years, we, we started the festival, and I programmed the festival. So, and, and that was when it was very hard because nobody knew who we were, and you weren't getting you know, the films that Sundance were getting, so we had to constantly convince people to bring their... Now we don't have to worry. They don't have to worry. They can get any film they want. You know, but back then we had to beg people to come and either show their film. We had to beg people to go to the movie theaters. I'll never forget we showed showed a film at the uh, the Paramount. I think it was the second year. It was a Kevin Reynolds movie, and uh, I think we had three people in the audience in the whole Paramount theater. And that was after giving free tickets away. It's changed a lot since then. Wow! Yeah. Even after free tickets, you Even can only get tickets. three people. Yeah, it was three people. And I think wow. Barb and I were the two of the three people in there. So. You found one friend yeah. though, <laughs> one friend, that's yeah. nice. So we, we were able to make it happen. And we can see it all. Yes, and, and that's going to be October 21st. Spring Eddy. It premieres October 21st at the Long Center Rollins Theater at 7.30 p.m. is your first chance to see it. And then, because we, this is a country of second chances, uh -huh. George, so if you miss that and you cannot make the premiere, you can sneak in to the second premiere, and you only have to wait 24 hours right. the next day, right. Monday, the 22nd at the Long Center is your next chance to catch it. Spring Eddie, you will, you will not be disappointed. George Anson, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you really, for Really, really appreciate it. your time. Thank you. Stay with us.